Hi folks, Mike Schrampke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment, America's largest selling coyote dealer. Today I'd like to talk about the DK10 SE series and in particular the 40 horsepower DK4210 SE. It's available obviously in a uh, open station and a cab and it's as I said it's a 40 horsepower tractor with standard hydrostat transmission and I, th I think it's worth looking at the tractor and uh, offering it for consideration. If you're thinking about a tractor, for example, our biggest seller by far, the CK10 series, 35 and 40 horsepower, 26 if you get a cab, but let's just compare, you know, the, uh, the larger horsepowers. If you're looking at a CK10, which is really everybody's favorite tractor, and, and for good reason, a lot of good reasons, if you're concerned that it's just not quite big enough, do you know about the DK10 SE? This is a machine that's a, a little bit bigger, yet it's still compact enough to where you can easily, you know, put it on a trailer and tow it with your truck, or if you have uh, confined areas with trees or woods or anything like that, it's still nimble. And to give you, to give you an example, and, and for, I should say, for not much more money. The turning radius on a CK10 is eight feet, which is a stunningly small circle. It will turn within an eight foot circle. The turning radius on the DK10 SE is eight and a half feet, yet it's a bigger tractor. When Coyote engineered this tractor, they, they wanted something that was substantial in what it'll lift and the hydraulic pump that it'll operate, the jobs that it will do, but they were also very conscious that not everybody wants, needs, or even can use a larger machine. And that's where the DK10 SE comes in, especially in the 40 horsepower version. The loader capacity, for example, on these is 2,475 pounds. That is impressive. On a, on a short wheelbase machine that will, as I said, turn with it eight and a half feet. 2,475 pounds, which is a big step from the CK10, which is 1835, which is a very good number in its own right amongst its competitors. But 2,475 pounds is a lot. And, and the, the, there's a couple of ways they, they achieve that without making the machine gigantic. The first thing is there is a subframe mounted from where the loader meets the, the chassis engine all the way back to the rear axle. So the, the stress and the lifting capability, it's spread out amongst the entire length of the tractor. And that's a big thing. And that's, that's what helps it from, you know, tractors are generally rated at, at tipping point. Uh, theoretically at 2,476 pounds, this tractor, the rear wheels would come off the ground. That's how it's, that's how it's rated. That's how everybody rates it. And there's several ways you can get more lifting capability. And uh, first off, the, the best one is to spread the load all the way to the back axle. The other way is it needs a lot of hydraulic ability to lift that kind of weight. The uh, hydraulic pump on this tractor runs at 16 and a half gallons per minute, 16 and a half gallons per minute, which is a lot. Com and, and compared to even the CK10, which again, a good number, 11.7. So 16.5 gallons per minute allows heavier lifting in the front, heavier lifting in the back, better response on a, on a larger tractor, especially with implements and weight with the, hydro uh, with the uh, hydrostat transmission. It has a massive hydraulic pump, one that's, uh, one of that size is generally, you know, more, uh, more, I don't know, thought of as on a, on a bigger machine. So it's, uh, it's got 40 horsepower and pumps a tremendous amount of hydraulic fluid to make the tractor do stuff. The uh, DK10 SE also comes standard with, and everybody likes this, the uh, three-point control, you can raise and lower your three-point from behind the tractor, and when you're hooking up implements, you can imagine what a help that would be. It comes with a standard uh, set of hydraulic remotes, a toolbox. It is a, it's a nice tractor, and 
another consideration that Coyote had when they designed this and brought it to market was they wanted to give the buyer the option of does he or she want a whole bunch of stuff on it yeah, at a higher price or not a whole bunch of stuff on it at a much lower price or somewhere in the middle. And by that I mean, again, using the CK10 SE series as an example, that tractor really has no options. And that's kind of cool. Uh, it does have the transmission option on that one. You can either get a manual transmission with a shuttle or a hydrostat. These come, as I said, standard with a hydrostat. But a lot of the stuff that comes standard on, on the high-end uh, CK10 SE is optional. It's available, but it's optional on this. For example, cruise control, a linked pedal, telescopic lower link ends, mirrors, you know, stuff like that. Uh, armrests, for example. Not, you know, everybody wants armrests. If you do, they're very inexpensive. In fact, I think the most expensive option on these, uh, probably the telescopic lower link ends, and they're, I don't know, 400 bucks. They're, you know, it's not expensive. Tractor also has a six foot bucket. Now, it, it comes in either five and a half feet or six feet. I always order the six foot bucket, but it is available with a five and a half. I'm not sure what advantage that would be, but it, it's available if you want it. Just a great machine. It is standard with electric PTO, so just turn the dial and uh, off you go. It has PTO cruise control standard, and, and what that is, if you're not familiar with Coyote products, when you set your RPMs and the tachometer is, is running, the engine is running where you want it to operate the, uh, the implement, if, uh, say, you're using a rotary cutter and you go through some heavy brush and whatever, and it's dragging the engine down, and so you, you kick it up a little bit, you get the idea. If you select PTO cruise control, when you are at the RPMs that, that you're, you're needed, you know, needed to run, just push that, and if the engine meets resistance, it will uh, maintain the RPMs that you set it at by itself. Pretty cool. Um, like all Coyote tractors, this one has a Coyote engine, and it's a, uh, it, it's a marvel. Here's something that I don't know if everybody knows. Uh, the Coyote three-cylinder, which is in this tractor, at this, in this machine, it's 40 horsepower. It's also in, uh, it's used in other models, 35 horsepower, 40, 45, 50, 58, 60. All the same engine, it, you know, same stuff on it. The, at 45 horsepower, it gets a turbocharger, but uh, I think that's kind of smart. Why design, you know, a dozen different engines when, uh, when all you can do, or you can add a turbocharger or adjust the, uh, you know, they, they program the ECM to, you know, run at whatever horsepower is needed. It makes it a whole lot easier on a dealer standpoint for parts and, you know, it's one engine. Uh, the, above this, at the 66 horsepower level, it becomes a, a four-cylinder, but still a modular engine sharing most of the same parts as the three-cylinder. It's just smart engineering, but it, I digress. The other thing that's important to think about, as I said, it can be an economy tractor if you, you know, don't take any bells and whistles, or it can be a premium tractor if you, you know, you could pick and choose all the, all the stuff that you want, or just, you know, just a few things that you can get exactly what you want. But its, it's pricing is, is surprisingly affordable. Um, these are, you know, these are a few bucks more than the, than the CK10, you know, CK, you know, for example, CK4010 SE, same engine, 40 horsepower. But, uh, you know, you get a higher lift capacity front and rear, larger hydraulic output, and a slightly larger tractor, and, uh, you know, at a good price. I, I made this video because I think this tractor is, is underrepresented in, in some ways and underappreciated. We, uh, we sell a lot of them, but generally it's to people that didn't really know it was there. You know, they say, well, you know, I really like the CK4010, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to put pallet forks on it and I have to un unload my truck and, you know, whatever. And we'll say, well, you know, this is just uh, half a step above that. And they start looking at it. That's generally who buys the tractor. The uh, price-wise, Coyote always 
has good incentives on the DK10 SE. For example, right now it's March 1st, so you know maybe, maybe it's different when you're watching this, but for example, today's March 1st and they have a, a choice of, uh, you could take a cash rebate if you're a cash buyer, you just want to stroke a check or finance it at your credit union, whatever, um, of tractor and loader, 3300 yeah, $3,300, which, uh, which is generous. I mean, it's over 10% of the, uh, the cost of the tractor. Or you can exchange that for Coyote's low APR, 0% at uh, 48 through 2.99 at 84, and then you know steps in between. So whether you're a cash buyer or one that goes to your credit union, or you want to take advantage of, of some very, very uh, favorable financing rates from Coyote, the DK10 SE is, is that machine. So. If you'd like to learn more about the DK10 SE, if you'd like to see what it's like if you did one of our pick three, pick five packages, and if you don't know about that, go to our website, lsetractor.com, and check out the pick three, pick five. It's it's becoming it's becoming a, kind of a kind of a deal, you know. But anyway, if you'd like to find out more, you can call us or email us. Our Phone number is 615-956-0334, 615-956-0334. Email us, sales at lsetractor.com, sales at lsetractor.com. I would love for you to subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, it, it helps move me up on the YouTube uh, mystery analytics thing and it really does help my business. And don't forget, if you're seeing this before March 25th of 2023, our open house at the Pleasant View location is March 25th, 2023, from 10 till 2. And we will have everything from pay, face painting and, and pony rides for the kids to demonstrations, live bluegrass music, barbecue, it's all free. And somebody is going home with a brand new Coyote zero turn mower at two o'clock. So uh, you're invited, please come. And uh, that's it. Check out our pick three, pick five on any of our tractors, but it's kind of a special fit on the DK10 SE. Mike Schramke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe. <laughs>